Hey guys, we're here with the guys from Crown Heads. This is Wes Thornton and Brian McGee. How you doing? Jason's over there. I think he had a whole notebook full of questions. It's over there that we're not going to open. Yeah, I didn't really even have a notebook. Just kind of wanted to sit and chat it up, ask you guys maybe a couple questions, and then just kind of BS the rest of the time. So we're just going to BS the whole time. So, uh, McGee, I got to ask you, uh, this is a tough question, man. Uh, you're with CAO for five years. Right. And then General bought them and they fired you. Right. Well, they let you go, I guess, technically, is the way to put it. Right. Uh, I and left. Then, and then you're with Theranio for four years. Right. And then CA, or then General bought them. Right. And uh, again, you left. So, how long is it before Crown Heads? Uh, Three years. Okay. Three years. And Crown Heads will be officially part of General. <laughs> Excellent. You heard it here first, folks. Put it in calendar. <laughs> I well, hope at least it never you guys happens. have a five-year plan. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's a five-year plan. Don't die. Right. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, it, it's great to have you guys, you with those guys, because uh, I think that's a real good fit. We're really excited to see what happens in the future. I'm very happy. Um, so Las Calaveras came out and really just pretty much stopped the shit out of everybody. It uh, did. Wes, that's uh, that's really good. Do you guys see something else coming from that, maybe in the future, or something else along those lines? Yeah, we'll have a uh, Las Calaveras 2015. It's, uh, different blend, different packaging, same name. Okay, cool. Well, we're excited. As to see far that. as I know, I mean, it could always change. That's that's what I hear. That's, that's the plan. That's, that's the rumor. rumor. That's the rumor. Now, originally, you guys came out with three different cigars: the Headley Grange. The Four Kicks, the J.D. Howard Reserve, that being under, uh, like from a different factory, maybe you don't want to talk about the choices that went into, or, you know, the, the, the factories that went into switching factories, but, you know, if you do, we would love to understand more. I don't think they really switched when that factories. happened, why it happened. They just, they, they made a new one from a new factory. Yeah, we, we the, the Headley, Four Kicks, and the, uh, J.D. Howard is still made by EPC, and Jericho Hill and some like the Las Calaveras is made by my father. We're not switching, we're just using both. Okay, yeah. awesome. Gives us a different angle. Okay. Well, and John Hoover was with CAO for a long time, and he's got a really good relationship with Ernesto, so I mean, it just right. made sense when it right. started that they came out together. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, from the beginning, we approached several factories and basically had a lot of offers, offers and EPC was the one that was chosen that was the best fit for us at the time and then now it's just branching out to mix it up yeah, that, and it's that's, worked out well. That's something you always got to do, you always got to mess with the portfolio, change the portfolio up uh, in this industry, nothing stays the same for long. Right. And I think that the stuff coming out of my father has been well explosive, well, yeah. very well received. Las Calaveras kind of shot us out like a rocket. Yeah. Jericho Hill is a great follow up. I agree. And, then, and then the most recent release, the Mason Dixon project, which is kind of interesting. Can you tell us more about that? Like as far as there's a northern and a southern edition that are you know different. Who gets what? Why? We took the Mason Dixon line, the original Mason Dixon line, extended it westward across the United States. So the South got one blend, the North got another blend. And the southern blend is. Connecticut, uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut. Uh, northern is Connecticut broadly. And it's kind of created splitting it like that because we stuck to, every store wanted to buy both. We stuck to the south. The south only gets the south, the north gets the north. And it's created like this underground railroad. So right. stores are swapping back and forth, which is kind of cool. We kind of wanted it to have. It's a really cool concept. How many of the, I mean, I'm sure you guys don't know all of who are switching, but how many of the stores are stores that have, you know, buddies in, for, in other cities that are kind of back and forth, or do you there's, think there's people there's who reach out there new? You remember Anthony, new friends. who's now a broker in Arizona, he's our broker that we use in that yeah. territory. He's got a list of customers that, because he's, he's got customers on both sides. So um, there's a lot of stores that are trading that are doing that. Yeah, I know we've there's got a couple a on the way. Yeah. We've got some friends up yeah. north. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been and it, it keeps uh, it keeps it fresh and you can more people yeah. talking about it too. Yeah, and it's something fun. I mean, yeah. it's something for for. And then you got your collectors trying to get both, yeah. and yeah. they're it's all over Instagram. Hey, look, I got both of them. Both of them. Yeah. 
it's I think I think the right. customers will really find that to be okay. fun as well. Yeah. They do. They do. Uh, yeah, so hey Wes, uh, have you crashed your skateboard lately? Uh, my skateboard, I just moved to Nashville from Chattanooga and uh, hadn't ridden it in some time. It had been in the trunk of my car for quite a while, but I just bought a mount to display it in my bed. So it looks really nice because it was handmade in Nashville. Yeah. I can't ride a thing worth the damn. So it looks nice on the wall. Does that mean you're retiring it? It's, being retired. it's not retired. I can okay. take it off the wall. Okay. So trying to ride it hasn't been like it. The only Same. time, the only time I rode it, is, is when I lived in Chattanooga. I was across the street from a parking garage, and I could ride an elevator up top and ride down. So it was no energy at all. You just ride, and then you ride the elevator back up. That was fun. I never got ballsy enough to ride it like on a sidewalk because I knew I would wreck and the people would laugh. So I just like to do it at like two in the morning down the parking garage, very wide. Yeah, no, I actually got a scar from where I tried to. You know, learn how to skateboard. It was it's real popular easy. when I was in middle school, high school. And I got that was the day that I was like, all right, done with that. Screw this, I'm done. I'm not cut out for this. I'm too fat. Whatever the case, I got a big scar up my shed from uh, with the simplest trick, the ollie. Can't do it. Can't do it. Cannot. It's not easy. I wasn't gonna wear a helmet because it's not cool to wear a helmet. No, no. You probably should, kids. You wear a helmet. Brain damage, but. Watching this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but if you are, yeah. wear a helmet, kids. Wear a helmet. Wear a helmet, but it's not cool to wear a helmet. <laughs> but you should wear a helmet. Just the left. They're all gonna laugh at you. I think Ryan has a question. <laughs> yeah, a great question for you, being from Nashville. Okay, hit me. Johnny Cash or Elvis Presley? Cash. Nice. Cash, and why? Good question. Cash is king, man. Uh, Elvis was a king, too. Well, yeah, I guess technically he was the king. Um, I don't know. I just like Cash's music more. I don't, he seems more of a badass, which I'm all about. Man of mine. Yeah. Do you ever see that meme with Johnny Cash and Wayland and Jenny standing next to each other drinking beers, and it's like they got all the pictures of all the country stars that are in trouble now. One got a DUI, another one hit his wife, or cheated on his wife, or some bullshit. Uh, they're both standing there like, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's pretty that. great. John's got a nice picture of Cash in his office. It's what, 10 feet tall. Well, is I, it more Because, I mean, that would make that's sense. That's a bit of an exaggeration. I don't think it's 10 feet. That's pretty it's, big. It's, it's maybe five. I thought it was bigger than me. No, no. It's a nice picture. I like that. It's about five feet. It's cool that was picture. actually a buddy of theirs, a guy named John Chiasan, who actually, here's a fun fact for you. Fun so, fact, fun fact. Los Calaveras was a cigar that was, it kind of has a Day of the Dead theme, but it was more to pay homage to some friends we lost last year. John Chiasan was one of these people, and he was the guy that took the photograph and sent to John's office. So he, he photographed several musicians and and celebrities and uh, he did that photo and unfortunately passed away last year. So his initials are on the band of the Los Calaveras Cigar along with three other people that are on there. Does uh, the guy that built the, the motorcycle for the rock and roll tour, uh, Sucker Punch Sally, I can't remember the guy's name, um, for when, when John was with CAO, his initials are on the band yeah. and then a couple of family members. And actually, I feel like I'm just going to ask this question from off camera. Um, I feel like uh, doesn't the Jericho Hill? I mean, going back to the whole Johnny Cash thing, doesn't that uh, have to deal with uh, Johnny Cash? Uh, the um, I can't remember what song it was. Cocaine Blues. Cocaine, Cocaine Blues. Blues. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, a lot of a lot of the Everything. cigar names seem kind of well. Being from Nashville, I'm sure that has something to do with it as well. Yeah. Well, they Tennessee, have... yeah, Tennessee in general. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean, Four Kicks was uh, better, or not better, as uh, Kings of Leon. Ed the Grange was all Led based Zeppelin. on the Led Zeppelin thing. But generally, J.D. Speaking, Howard is the Billy the Kid, or no? Wrong. Wrong. I don't remember. You want to guess again? No, I'm done. No. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that was the, the alias, the alias that J.D. Howard used when he lived in East Nashville. Yeah, J.D. Howard. He, he lived James. on Jesse James. What did I say? You said J.D. Howard. I've, Wrong. I've had like a whole beer, so 
Yes, Jesse James. That's that was his Gary. alias. He lived on 711 Fatherland Avenue, and the house is still there. It's on the head of the historic register. And he's nasty. He's nasty. Nice face. Nice face. Nice face. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say earlier is uh, it seems just generally speaking, all the cigars' names carry this this Western, like, it's badass outlaw sort of feel to it. You know, four kicks, the Headley Grange. You just, you, you think of these names and you think badassery. What, yes. What was the vision behind Crown Heads as a whole, some of these names? Maybe you can explain a couple of them, but just the, the general vision behind it. Does it have anything to do with... Outlaw mentality, general badassery. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that, Jason. Great question. Yeah, good question. So, <laughs> like about 60 minutes. when when uh, <laughs> CAO was acquired by a large European company, John and Mike didn't want to go work for this large European company, and they didn't want to move to Richmond, Virginia, so they decided to start their own company called Crown Heads. When that was announced, the mentality from that other large company was kind of like, we're going to crush you, you're not going to succeed, you're going to fail, yada, yada, yada. So they came up with our company slogan is kind of uh, when the rules don't make sense, carve your own path, which is kind of like the whole mantra, is that mantra? Mantra? Mantra. Um, so the name Four Kicks on that cigar comes from uh, Kings of Leon song called Four Kicks, specifically some of the lyrics. So. The lyrics say, you with your switchblade posse, which is in reference to the big European company. I'll get my guns from the south. We'll take to the yard like a cockfight. Four kicks, who's strutting now? So it's kind of like a middle finger to that giant company. So we did succeed. We're doing well. The Crown Heads is from what movie? <laughs> I didn't know this is like a quiz. You're failing. I'm sorry. Wizard Fight of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Know that, right? Yeah, Wizard of Oz. Professor uh, Crown Heads of Europe. We just got schooled on our Kansas trivia. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. I think we're done here. I feel insignificant. I guess the only thing we can do is drink. We'll walk out of here. We'll get something to eat. That's a wrap. <laughs>